Hey guys, it's M4J here, and welcome back to the Reignited Trilogy, uh, Spyro Reignited Trilogy. Um, it's been ages since I played this game, I do apologise for that, uh, just had other commitments that kept coming up. This is one of those games where I have to sit down for, for two hours, record a huge block, and then cut it down into five bits, which is why I couldn't just record little bits and pieces here and there without it being really, um, sort of, uh, jumpy, which... This isn't really a game that you want to do lots of jump cuts in. You, you want to admire the scenery and um, explore the game and all that kind of stuff. Uh, so we are here just outside Glimmer. We're in Summer Forest. I'm just checking that it has in fact registered the fact that I've done most of these. I believe it has. Um, I think, do we have the ability to climb ladders now? I'm not sure that we've learnt it yet. Check your guidebook by pressing the menu button. Oh yeah, I know all that, Alora. Uh, we've got the stoner dude. Not here. He's... Oops, didn't mean to fly into that. Uh, Hunter, he is up there somewhere, or he was. He might have moved now. Um, we have the ability to swim now, which is good, because it means we can... travel into the castle. And this is the bit of the level, I think I said this in the stream from before, this is the bit of the level that I remember the most growing up, was the buttons. So you've got uh, these two here, a little airlock, Zoe the fairy, and then there's the hu hunter, the stoner dude, um, Alora here. We have to learn how to climb this ladder, which we don't have the ability to yet. I saw something shiny at the top of this wall. You could probably get it, but you'll have to learn how to climb first. <clears throat> Hopefully the audio and everything like that is okay. Uh, Hardacos. I think we did Hardacos. Yep, 100%. So we, the only ones we've got yet uh, to do still are Glimmer. We've got to go back and do the um, the bit up the ladder. I think it's lighting up more uh, lamps. Sunny Beach, we got a complete still. Again, it's all ladder-based stuff. And then Summer Forest is all ladder-based stuff too, including that there. What does Hunter want? Your game camera is currently in passive mode. This mode requires you to manually control the camera. If you like, I can change the game camera to use active mode. In active mode, the camera adjusts itself based on your movement. I think I might change that. Okay, all done. If you don't like the camera this way, come back and see me. Or change it yourself by using the options menu. The camera now faces the way Spyro faces. I can still control the camera. But the camera is supposed to face the way Spyro faces. I'm not sure why that didn't change. I don't know. Anyway. There's a whole section that we didn't explore. The end of the last stream, we were up there. And we were looking down here. So let's go get these gems. And then uh, we'll go talk to Mr. Moneybags there about lowering this whoops, wall. Is it a wall he lowers? It's something that he does there that allows us to progress. And I believe this is where we go to fight Crash? Crush? Crush. Crush and Gulp. I'm trying to remember the names of the um, Ripto's minions. I think it's Crush and Gulp because I don't think Crash would have gone down very well back in the, uh, the early noughties. Right. Say, Spyro, you see this wall here? I bet you're dying to know what's on the other side. If only I had a few more gems, I might be able to remember how to lower the wall. 400 gems, okay. Ah, yes. The sparkling beauty of those gems seems to have jogged my memory. Yeah, I bet it has, Monty. So, Aquaria Towers. This is a bit more uh, green than I remember it being. Very picturesque. Summer Forest is a beautiful homeworld. Really nicely done. And actually, the, the original game looked good, and I will give this credit. The remaster looks stunning when it comes to the, uh, the landscape. They did a really, really good job. I'm really looking forward to seeing what Evening Lake looks like though, because I've, I've done my best to avoid watching people play Evening Lake, because that is, as we all know, that is my all-time favourite Spyro homeworld. 
Right, let's go see what's going on in Aquaria Towers then. I think this is the last um, world we have to do before we can fight Crush and move on to Autumn Plains, I think is the next one. Summer Forest, Autumn Plains and Winter Tundra, I think are the three home worlds in uh, Spyro 2. The little cinematics are quite funny as well. For what this game was, back when it first came out, it was so well done. And I like the fact... I talked about this in a podcast, actually, for XVI, which um, you will be able to watch in the not-too-distant future, because I've been editing it over the last few days. But uh, one of the things I did mention in that was the game visually looks great. Gameplay-wise, in terms of the control scheme and the camera scheme, it still feels a little bit finicky. I think they did the best they could with it, um, plus there were other factors involved. But they, they've really captured the essence of the game, and that's the important bit for me. Um, like It looks great, that's fine, but the essence of the game, the comedic nature of some of these levels and some of the characters... I mean, look at that guy just dancing around there. They did a really, really good job with that. Looking guys with the shock sticks have drained all our water. We can't get it back unless someone activates the switches they're guarding. Leave this to me. That was not a good start. Uh, I probably didn't actually, yeah, probably shouldn't have done that so early. <laughs> Can I restart, please? I think that's it now. I think this is forever underwater. Uh, so I can't see what I'm doing. Let me change the camera back to passive. Okay. You happy now, Mr. Seahorse? Those shock stick guys are tough. Yesterday, they turned Vern, our giant squid, into fried calamari. Okay, so they killed the squid. Bit dark. So I mean about the essence of the game, though. <clears throat> like, it just it, it, that was what was great about Spyro is it obviously was a very serious game. They they took it very seriously when they made it, but at the same time, it was just funny. And Crash Bandicoot never really hit the right notes for me in terms of being funny. It never really felt like it was that funny. Whereas Spyro always, seeing the, the little intros to the levels and things like that, and hearing some of the characters, it always made me laugh. Even now, you know, 20 odd years later, I still find some of it quite funny. Some of it's a little cringy, of course, but I'm not really the target demographic anymore. I'm really not enjoying these camera controls, I must say. I always give my honest opinion on these games. That's one thing you can get from me. Okay, pick up all the gems. Is that me? Go. So we can't go in there yet because of the sharks. But I believe our uh, rich friend has a submarine somewhere that we can use. Just exploring this. I don't think there's anything of interest here, per se. But it just felt like that was something I could walk around. I don't know. I look for secrets in all the wrong places in this game. Um, now I've completely got myself back to front and the wrong way around. So I think up there is where we, we are going to end up going next. But for now, I don't think there's sharks in this bit, so I'm going to go down here. Take care of that, take care of that. Alright, time to hit the button. And we're going to end up deep underwater again. Any second now, there we go. Right. Up here. Oh, hang on. If I just let the sharks out. Is 
the, the, the sharks were... Are they still swimming around there? Oh, that's alright then. For a horrible minute there, I thought uh, the sharks were actually going to come up here. They might still do. Come on. Yeah, camera control. Same old story. Not the uh, the easiest. That was the problem with Crash Bandicoot as well. Was the uh, the camera was a little difficult and the hitboxes were a bit off in some places. Like I said though, I I've got to try and look at it positively. They did a good. God damn it! They did a good job with the game. They captured the essence of the game, which is all we can ask for, really. It's only us oldies playing the game right now and worried about the control scheme. Kids, not so much. They'll just adapt and get on with it like we did back in the 90s and early 2000s. I can't imagine a five-year-old is going to be complaining too much about the uh, the control scheme on Spyro. What is that? That's my phone ringing. Uh, I might have to stop the recording for a second, so this might actually be in parts after all. So bear with me, guys. I'll be back in just a second. Alright, we are back. Apologies for that, guys. I had a quick phone call that I had to take, uh, and I'm probably going to get interrupted again momentarily, so that I might have to... Oh! Hi, Spyro. You must be tougher than you look to get here. All the same, you won't be able to get past the metal sharks up ahead. I suppose I could let you borrow my submarine, though, for a modest fee. All right, now the rich guy's finished. Um, I might get interrupted again in just a second. Uh, it's one of these things at the moment. I'm getting lots of phone calls about lots of different things, so I'm having to, to take them as and when. So I do apologize for that. A pleasure doing business with you, Spyro. This submarine is 100% shockproof. I guarantee it. Well, he's not lying there, I suppose, when he says that. I didn't actually finish exploring that area before I got chucked into the submarine. <clears throat> I don't think there's much else there, maybe a gem or two that I missed. Uh, but yeah, life's quite busy at the moment, so um, that's one of the reasons why I couldn't spare two hours to record these episodes. Uh, why did you throw me down here? Hold on. Please go away. Oh, this is not very well. Now I'm stuck underground with a load of things that I don't want to be with. Right, you die. I've got no sparks, so any if an enemy just looks at me funny, I'll be dead. He zapped me, so I don't have to come all the way through that again. Uh, yep, no sparks. I'll pick things up myself. Um, yeah, I think I, I think I said what I wanted to say. <laughs> Life's busy. Lots of phone calls has made recording things like open TTD I can record time lapses like 20 minutes at a time no problem but things like this it's a little more time consuming plus the uh, the editing the rendering and all that stuff takes time so that's why Spyro videos have, have not been around much lately um, I have a horrible feeling I've just gone down where the sharks are yes I have so I'm gonna get the heck out of there. Where was I trying to go? I think just up here is my next port of call. Yeah, looks like it. Oh. Just pop that. There, there we go. Alright, so I think this is the level actually done now in terms of the, the story. Given the seahorses all their water back, but there is a lot of other things we've still got to do, like rescuing things from the towers here. I cannot see. Come on, Spyro. Um, yeah, rescuing baby seahorses from the towers. Oh, I need you. Come here. There we go. Welcome back, Sparks. Is that sheep just going to float there now? Is it gone? I think it's gone. world is wet again. We all want you to have this talisman of Aquaria Towers to remember us by. Okay, that's the way back to Summer Forest, but if I come down here, there is in fact this, which is Super Flame, which 
which I can use to get rid of those pesky sharks. Uh, so I should have gone the other way actually, but screw it. I'll go the long way. Oh, that's a notification. That's probably going to get picked up by the recording. I'm going to die. I know I'm going to die because I've used half of this already and I'm not even close to where I need to be. Go away, money bags. No one cares what you've got to say. Well, that didn't go to plan. <laughs> I was uh, rushing, and uh, that never works. Don't rush, kids. Always take your time. So, um, what we'll do is that's where the sharks are again. Where, where am I wanting to? Go? Ah, down here, and then up here, and then. Here. Come on. Come on. No. Come on. There we go. And then up here. And then down here. Alright, this is the first lot taken care of. Pick all these gems up. Try and find Hunter. Where is Hunter? In all of this. Oops. Let me go to plan. Jump out here. You got anything new to say? No. You got anything new to say? No. I can't actually remember where Hunter is. Oh, I think I know where he is. Yeah, I think I know where he is. Through here, through here, through here and then up. So the end of the level is through here. Here we go. Up here. And look, we're in a whole new world. Oh no, I've got to go around and collect all these gems. This will be where using sparks comes in very handy. Because uh, there are lots of just loose gems that you can easily miss. I think there's like races you've got to do. Um, or a race against the Manta Ray. That seems to ring a bell. Uh, plus some other stuff. And then you've got to rescue the baby seahorses. And there's probably a million other things you've got to do here. And then the level is complete and we can move on. Well, there's a Ray. Is that Hunter I see before me? Is Hunter I see before me? Why won't you talk to me, Hunter? Excuse me, Mr. Underwater. Well, talk to me. I've been trying Jesus. to tame my new pet manta ray, but he just won't obey me. Hey, you're just about the right size to ride on his back. Great! Hop on his back and guide him through each of the bubble rings as they appear. And remember, he's brand new. So try not to get him dented or scratched That's up. a bit dark as well. Alright, ride the manta ray through the course. Basically what I have to do is follow the seahorse. Oh, I went the wrong way, didn't I? Pretty wild ride. Okay. The problem with this this game is the characters don't necessarily follow a set pattern, or, or like, like not a logical pattern, I should say, they do follow a set pattern. Yeah, I went the wrong way. Seven, eight, and nine. There's one orb. Well done. I suppose I owe you something for that. Here, take this orb. I found it in one that of my fits, flippers. doesn't it? That thing there fits in his flippers. Look at the size difference. 
Now that the manta ray's tamed, I'd love to get him into racing shape. Care to take him through a hard course? Time. I want to collect some more gems first, Hunter, because let's be honest, you're annoying. Uh, what's that? I just... Oh, they're fish. Uh, you're the one whose babies I've got to rescue, so I'll come to you in a second. I'm looking for, like, bottles or... There we go. I knew there was some around here. Two. There's another gem. There's another gem. There's another gem. Are they sheep? I'm not quite sure why there's sheep underwater. Uh, let's get a bit of a, a bird's eye view here. Any more gems? Not that are immediately obvious. Alright, where's that seahorse? Let's see if I've got just enough time to do this. I've got to shoot off again for a bit. You gonna talk to me? The water workers have kidnapped six of my children and have hidden them in the top of each of these numbered towers. I borrowed some explosives to blast open the tower doors. If you can make it to the top of the six numbered towers, my children will be safe. Okay. All we have to do is get to the top of each of these towers, which is easier said than done. That's one. And number two's opened up. Uh, is this still electrified? No. So number two was right next to number one. There it is. Oop, went past it. That didn't go to well. Oh well, made it up there now. That didn't go. That didn't go to well. I just said that didn't go well. Is what I meant to say. Uh, so number three is now open, and I didn't actually see where number three was. Number three might be back in the main. Oh no, is this number three? They're not all here. I should say they're all scattered across the level. So if it's not here. Uh, that's Hunter again. I need a sheep. There we go. Come here, sheepy. Okay, so um, I'm going to go find number three. Which I'm sure, yeah, number three's here. Now, this is probably the easiest one, number three, because there's no electricity. It's just that crap. Now we've got number four. I'm trying to remember if they are actually in adjacent rooms or not. I don't think they are. On that logic, number four would be through here. First of all, is this one of the towers? Yes. You're number five. Uh, and this one you can get into from the top. That doesn't open anyway. where we came from. No. Or is it? Yeah. This is number five again, isn't it? I'm just being dumb. Yep, you're number five again. Cool. I think this is where we came from. So that should be number three. So maybe number four is up here. No, you're number six. So yeah, they're not in adjacent rooms. Which is fine. We've not got uh, an air limit or anything, so we can scooch around for a little bit longer. I'm not quite sure how the water works where this bit isn't underwater. I mean, it is possible, but I don't want to go into the science of it right now. Uh, you're number five again. Where's number four? there, is it? No. Maybe up by Hunter again? I'm 
I'm sure there was another tower there. Maybe that was number four. One, two, three was in the main bit, the uh, the start area. It's definitely not here, is it? This one you can't get into. Or can you? No. So where the heck is number four? Right, you're number three. Oh, there it is. It's right next to it. That was dumb, wasn't it? Oh, love it. We're up there now. Okay, number five. 